folks welcome back um, you join me just after Christmas here so happy Christmas hope you had a good one it's 27th of December so we're in the thick of winter fishing now uh, we're back on the lovely uh, home water here at Chigbra thought we'd come over and give this a little go this afternoon uh, it's one o'clock now so we've only got a couple of hours left we're losing the light already pretty quickly I'm going to approach this with a lure method in fact we're going to try to do a bit of lures on here and maybe nick over to rook hall and pick one up on, on the indicator or maybe even dry fly so but we're going to go for the lures on here just to have a little bit something a little bit different because we can water's carrying a little bit of color which is perfect the levels are coming up nicely and these fish although not moving around too much you're in the top two foot of water they're not feeding on anything in particular there's no real buzzer hatch just yet it's still a bit early in the season for us so i'm going to go at these fish with a lure and intermediate setup. Standard rod for this sort of work, or what I'll use for this sort of work, is a 10 foot 7 weight, this is the Witchwood True Fly, um, paired with an intermediate line. So this is a inch and a half per second sink rate line. This particular one is the Witchwood Ghost Mode. I do like it. It's got a nice little bit of stretch in it. It's also a clear line as well, which I, I like in the winter months. We've gone for a 12 foot leader, uh, 6 pound fluoro, 6 pound Ghost Mode fluoro. Um, and I've just put one single dropper on here, so we've got a point fly and a dropper fly. On the point, we've gone with a blue flash damsel. Lovely classic winter pattern, that is just a, one of my favourite lures, especially with lakes where they tend to see a lot of colour, which is generally, they do get a lot of colour on here, especially white, orange. People do tend to use big lures on here, so this is just a little size 12 blue flash damsel. And then on the dropper, six foot above that, I've got a little size 12 cormorant again a very um, non-scary little lure uh, which will be perfect for this slightly coloured water we're going to have a little go here off the pontoon casting out towards the island going to cover a bit of water around here trying a few different retrieves etc and see if we can't pick a fish or two up so let's kind of have a little bit of fun right so we're all set up there we've got the intermediate line on and we've got that blue flash damsel and a little cormorant let's give it a little whirl not seeing anything moving but there's usually a few fish down on these pegs at this time of year so I'll give it a little go just pop that out and give it a couple of pulls to straighten up let it settle and then we're going to go for a sort of medium pace figure of eight all the way back see what happens beautiful morning afternoon about one o'clock now so about the warmest part of the day and it is lovely unusual you know just after christmas oh look at that oh take straight away there he didn't stick Let's see if he'll come back definitely hit that about a third of the way back that's a good sign hasn't come back for another go let's see <laughs> forget to hang it when we get back I've got that little line marker on there at 10 foot just there I'm just going to pause it at that 10 foot marker there watch the end of the line and hang it again nope. let's start that little pull first cast that's what we want And what we're going to do is just keep fan casting through the area just so that it keeps landing in a different spot each time we can straighten it out give it the count of about five it's not particularly deep and we're still at you know, we're still a foot below where it should be so we're only in four or five foot of water here. but this uh this intermediate is just cutting through the water and it's not leaving too much disturbance there it's nice still a little drop of color in the water but it's I would have said the conditions are perfect really. Oh little pull there again. Come on. Let's have a little lock up. And again, a little touch. And then I'll come back. Just a couple of little bumps. It's only a little size 12. And they're both size 12s, those flies. Unless that was a piece of weed. Yeah, and we're going to work that back to our 10 foot mark and then we're just going to stop and pause and watch the end of that line so that 10 foot mark has just hit the rod rings there and we're just going to pause it 
nothing. That could have been a bit of weed. Yep, got a leaf on the end of that, look. Alright, so we won't let that sink quite as far next time. Let's try a little steady roly-poly, shall we? Again, something a little bit different again. Keep those slow, oh, there we go, definitely fish there, yeah, bang. Yeah, that and the roly-poly, perfect. And just that vary and that retrieve a little bit can make the difference now, what's he taking? Oh, he's taking the cormorant, you know. Get a bit of sideways pressure on him. Nope, he's had the little damsel. Oh, olive lure. Come on, get that rod tip down, just let him do his thing. They got some pulling them this time, and they shake their heads about and all sorts. There he is, and a little fella, but lovely, nice bit of winter sport. I don't know, not doing him justice, not bad fish at all. <laughs> I don't know whether you saw that, but that hook just pinged out as he went in the net. There you go. Nice cheek bra rainbow. Perfect. Let's get him back straight away. Excellent. Brilliant little start that. Can ask for a better way, better start to that. Let's just get that out of there so we can repeat our success. Right. Right, in we go. And the birds on the island there, you've got seagulls, you've got Canada geese, you've got Egyptian geese, a couple of cormorants there at the end there. Plenty of, plenty of waterfowl around this time of year. Yeah, come on, let's get another one. There you go. Oh, he's had it. He's still coming at me. He is, he's got it. He's got it. Important to roly poly. When you get that take, don't try and hit them. Just keep roly polying. Like that one, he was he was on, but he was still coming at me. I think he's had the cormorant, this one. Let's have a little look. Yeah, he's had the cormorant. Lovely. That's two nice quick fish there. And a little tube of rainbow hooks out in the net as you can see, barbless hooks nice. There he is. Smashing fish. Away he goes. Excellent. Good. Two quick fish in the net, one on the cormorant, one on the blue flash. Um, that gives us a bit of confidence that we've got the right cast on. And I think we've picked the right retriever as well now, so it just seems to be this, just trip it about with this little roly-poly. That last one in particular, very important when you get those takes on the roly-poly, you keep roly poly in until that really goes tight, because it's easy to lift that rod too quick and give them that bit of slack, and you, you lose, your, lose contact with the fish, and especially with barbless hooks, that fly's just going to ping straight out of its mouth. And that one came about halfway back, that. Uh. Keep it coming and then we're just going to hang it there when I see that into that leader loop there. I'm watching me into my leader loop, just leave it for a second. Great little bite detector that is. Nothing that time. The little buzzers coming off. Very small little olive buzzers coming off. There we go. Straighten up. Give it a second. Roly poly. Couldn't be easier.
Yeah, straight away off the top, look. Hit that almost as soon as I started moving it. Keep that rod down. Lovely. I wonder what he took. That was literally the first movement of that fly and bang, he was on it. Must have put it right on his nose. He's on that blue flash again. <laughs> Lively little things, aren't they? Come on, in you go. Well done. Lovely. Good. Got three fish there. You can see that little damsel in the corner of his mouth. In fact, it's come out in the net. I haven't even needed to touch him. There you go, mate. Well done. There we go. Good solid lock up that one. And he's on the corner. Lovely. Nice fish that. Oh, there we are. Another nice solid chigbra rainbow. A little winter fish. Let me get a picture of it for you before we let him go. Lovely. Nice solid start. Let's see if we can repeat that. Let's just get that out there on that edge. Drop off there, it just, just drops off there. And it's just on the edge of that calm water really. Well, the wind's doing its best now. It turned completely southerly and come across me. Uh, we've got a lot of weather coming, that's why I've come out today actually. It's got some pretty horrible weather coming the next well, the next four or five days by the sound of it. Straight under, look at that. Oh. That went straight away. There's a few fish there, aren't they? A little bit slow on that one, maybe. That's it. Same spot again. A little bead on that. Let's get it down to depth nice and quickly. Yeah, they're forecasting some very, very little touch there. Got him. Lovely. <laughs> yeah, we're in business, aren't we? Get 
Jim. Very silvery fish in this lake. It always are feet because of the clear water. They really silver up very quickly. Oh, little fish. Come on. Brilliant. Oh, leg fly straight in the nose. Pretty much. And the net. Hold still. Right. Excellent. Excellent. Three three costs. Let's pick a spot with the only piece of weed in front of you. Right, bang, straight down there, same sort of area again. That's the floats just cocking the bungs, just that tells you show why that flies at the right depth. And it's only paid off to move around here. Two fish in no time there. A little pull just to make it bob up and down. Oh, just just went under. I'm gonna come back for another go. Very quick little time, we'll get a little pull away from him. So you don't keep them interested. And then come back. When this thing work out it's not a grub. And I'm getting a bit of a bow in the line now, so I'm gonna to have to recast that I think. It's just I want to drag a bit there. It's just Oh, set back out into that soft water there, perfect. Once you start getting that drag on the line, look, look, look where <laughs> that took on the drop. It took that on the drop. Got him. That sailed away. Nope, he's off. Just on that drop off there. There's obviously a pot of fish sitting there. Come on, let's have one more. Little touch there, let's give it a little pull away from it. Got him, he's in. He's going back for that. In the second go. As long as they're a little bit hesitant, you can sort of talk them into it, give it a little pull away from him, and he'll have it. Lovely. Well. Nice way to round things up really, isn't it? And a great little session here. Both lakes been here for well, just two hours now. Nine or ten on the other lake. And this is our third here now. A couple missed. Brilliant tell me it'll be out. Come on. 
Let's get you in. <laughs> get in on that. There we go. And that looks out in the net. Way. Yep. Just saw that. I only just managed to see that. Ah, another one's gone off. Right, I think that's us folks. We've just about lost the light, it's all gone now. Um, it's getting cold and it's not even half past three yet, and it's like the middle of the night. But uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Great sport on both lakes there, on two very, very different methods, um, and that shows just how much variety you can have out here winter fishing, especially on a little complex like Chigbra fisheries. Um, hope you enjoyed that. Um, please click like, click subscribe, feel free to share the videos, and um, I hope to catch up with you in the new year for some new, new more, more content. Thanks very much. Bye bye.